Hey guys, it's Insane for it here, and um, it's finally happened. Um, Call of Duty has no campaign mode. Uh, now, if you watch the industry like me, I've personally had this worry in the back of my mind for the past four or five years where effectively I thought that Call of Duty, there would be a time when they can effectively eliminate the campaign mode um, and just stick with multiplayer. It would become a multiplayer only game. Um, which is a concern for me, or was a concern, until now when it has come to fruition. As Call of Duty Black Ops 4, one of my favourites in the series, will not have a campaign mode. I've never complained about the Call of Duty story mode, I really haven't. I've always thought they were good, interesting, decent, uh, Kevin Spacey, great voice acting, blah blah blah. Never had a problem. Had a problem with the multiplayer, because, and that isn't just me by the way, a multiplayer is good and I enjoy it, but there are some games which we know are complete shit. Um, and you saw this, for example, in the, um, I think it was Infinite Warfare, I don't know, but you saw in the, in, in, in the press conference that they announced that there will be no wall running and no fucking space jumping and shit. Everyone cheered. Everyone. Even I cheered. I was like, yes! Fuck that shit. So fucking shit. Can't stand that crap. Um, it's just weird, running on walls. I don't really care about that crap. It, it just irritates me. And uh, it's not, it does not offend it to me. And I don't, it just, it's not an element of gameplay that I particularly want to play or enjoy. Or I want to play a parkour game or some shit. I'll go and look for one specifically. Or um, Spider-Man. And I fucking play a Spider-Man game. But essentially, it done, you know, I think the community in itself uh basically told them just there and then like yes thank fuck for that so boots on the ground for this call of duty now i've always enjoyed the uh black ops gameplay i've loved it i've enjoyed the online aspect because i just did i just uh, fundamentally it's just a great game i spent hours on it got to like eighth ninth prestige or something like that i don't know i don't know if i got to the full 15 prestiges uh, when i was into call of duty but that was some years ago anyway but i did fundamentally enjoy it so what they decided to do, so they're going to, <clears throat> they've removed the campaign, and they've given you this Battle Royale mode, which is a copy and fucking paste of Fortnite or fucking uh, PUBG, to, to latch on this trend right now, or even Overwatch, to, dare I say, um, which is going on right now. Now fundamentally, those games work because they're free to play. Everyone can download them, play them, and then there's loot boxes, or, or, or you can pay for points, or whatever it is that they've got it on there. That's what people choose to do, and I understand that people choose to do that, and they look at that, and they go, there's a market for it, and I have no doubt there's a market for it. I have no doubt about that, because people are doing it. I personally won't, and I don't like that crap. I don't like that uh, marketing strategy. I don't like that concept uh, or about a game or any game. That's why I don't play any free-to-play games. I'm very rarely on anything like that, and I, I just don't touch them, because I know what their business model is about, and I don't like it. I would rather pay a set price, get a decent game and say, this is actually a good game, there's none of this pay to win shit kind of scenario where someone's got something that I haven't, and I, everything's on a, a, a up to date and, and at a certain standard. Um, no one's got a better weapon than me, like, you know, because they paid for it, or maybe you can earn it, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? Um, I just know the business model and I don't want to get involved with something that's free to play and uh, lacking content or it's there and you have to pay for it. Uh, in, in, in what I would say is big numbers and you have to pay for it consistently so for this amount of points to upgrade this or this and it's like constant you're like fuck this I'd rather have paid £50 and got a game all, uh, all in you know what I mean uh, with a campaign a decent multiplayer whatever and, and I'll be happy <sighs> but that's just them, them games so I stay away from those games purposely I'm just not interested so now, they've removed the campaign, they've thrown in this fucking Battle Royale thing, which they say includes vehicles. Uh, we don't know what capacity, will you be able to drive those vehicles? You would say, yeah, surely, yeah, yeah, that's got to be the case. I don't know. Uh, so, we'll, we'll put that to one side now, but let's just say the vehicles <clears throat> are in it. Are they to, 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 to drive around like Battlefield? Maybe, maybe not. Or are they just to take you to A to B, like you do in the beginning of a mission? Don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and then they've got this, uh, they've replaced the campaign with this free maps, free maps of zombies, fucking zombies, so you've got, so you got this story mode with zombies, which should, which was started off as a side project, taken on a life of its own, that's fine, but at the same time you've replaced the fundamental part of the game in the campaign with a story mode for zombies, 
Which should have been, which to be fair and to be honest with you, should have been there anyway, or could or could have been included in the game with the campaign. So you would have had campaign, multiplayer, and then the story zombies. That would have been a, a unique, compact package, and that would have been well worth buying for sixty pounds now, or fifty pounds rather in the UK. Now you haven't got the campaign. It's just multiplayer, and then loot boxes you're going to include in there, or whatever the fuck you're going to do, because you know the game's going to be based on that as well uh, to make more money. And aesthetics and uh, little um, little gun camos and microtransactions. It's going to be fucking flooded with those. As well as the map packs that you got to buy. Um, so now, let's have a look at that, of, of the reasons why I would have bought the game personally, okay? And, and I'll give you uh, a rundown. So I would have bought this game for the campaign. Then I would have played online and went... This is good or bad. I'll stick to it. I won't stick to it. My choice. Same as your choice. And then I might have bought a map pack. I probably wouldn't have tried. I might have tried the zombies if someone convinced me. But essentially, meh. But whatever. So let's just say there's three elements of gameplay. But I would have tried all three. And there's a chance I would have bought the map pack. Now what you're telling me is there's only multiplayer. And you've got the shitty zombies. Which I'm not really interested in. Out of everything, zombies is the last thing I'm interested in personally. So... I won't be playing the zombies just today, for example. But let's just say there's three concepts that I would have played all three concepts of the game, and I might have bought a map pack. But that means I would have given you £50, played the game, promoted the game, and essentially there would have been a chance of me of me actually um, buying a map pack. Now what you're telling me is that you, now what you've done is saying, hey, we don't want you £50, and of course you won't be buying any map packs. So, and now my friend would have done the same thing. He's not interested in multiplayer, but he likes the campaign. Would have played the multiplayer with me. Now you're not getting his money. So that's £100 just out of nowhere with two people, 100 plus, because we there's no chance of us really even being interested in the game because you've eliminated effectively campaign mode. You're giving us a zombie campaign mode, which is cool, but you could have included that in the, in, in the game. Don't sit there and fucking tell me you haven't got the money to make a campaign mode. It's fucking horseshit. You've got so much money over the past 10 years, it is unreal. So don't tell me you haven't got the money to, to do it or couldn't afford to do it, because you have. You've got the money probably just off the fucking map packs of the past one or two games. So it's not like you didn't have the money to do it, you just chose this cho- uh, made this choice, a design choice, a creative choice. I'm going to make a prediction right here, right now, that next Call of Duty will have a campaign mode. It will because the fans will demand it, and I think it will because it will hurt their bottom line. It's going to hurt them a bit. It won't hurt them much, much. I think this game still can be a successful game in uh, in theory. Or they will claim it to be a success. But I bet you, as a, I bet you that this is, um, I bet you this is kind of, this is the biggest, this is a big risk they're taking. They don't see it as a risk. Well, they do, but not as big a risk as they think. Uh, but we'll soon see how it affects the numbers because they do pay, they do pay attention to the numbers. Hence the reason I say I don't like microtransactions and, and, and free-to-play games, but the reason they whack them in there because people do buy them. People that got money, people that love the game, care about the game, don't care about money, whatever it is, or don't care about the concept, they just love the game, want more of that, more of that, more of that, more of that shit. I personally don't, I'm very wary. I stopped buying the map packs and Call of Duty because um, they, they kept fucking around. They, 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 what, what would essentially happen is, rather than be smart and separate the zombies and the, and the multiplayer map packs, and say, oh, there's four maps for the multiplayer, four maps for the zombies, which I'm not interested in, I was getting two multiplayer maps and a fucking two zombie maps. Why do I want to pay for the fucking zombie maps I'm not even interested in? So that's another fundamental fuck-up. So I, I stopped paying for the, the, the map packs because I was getting screwed. I weren't getting what I wanted. I weren't getting enough money, paying 12 quid, for, for the map packs. They didn't have the, the smart idea to separate two map packs, okay? Because what would have happened, essentially, is the zombie people would have bought the zombie map packs, charged them cheaper, like 8 quid or 7, whatever, and then charged me 12 for the multiplayer map packs. That would have been fine. I would have felt I would have got 4 or 5 maps for the multiplayer, and then like 2 or 3 for the zombies if you're interested in going and purchasing that zombie map pack. But they combined them, so I was getting screwed and said, fuck you, I'm not, I'm not funding your shitty zombie maps, because I'm not interested in it. That was my personal preference, and then if you preference one over the other, as a gamer, as a consumer, as a customer, uh, you could have prioritised what you were interested in. Zombie map packs, or, um, you know, the multiplayer. Or you could have had a mixed DLC, where you got both for a cheaper price, combined. 
that would have been cool, that would have worked out, they would have still got their money, and people still would have had fun, still been on their servers for longer playing the game. Um, if you look at... Um, I'm going to use Xbox as, as an example. Xbox said, we want you online all the time. Gamers said, fuck you. Uh, they said, we want you to download games. Uh, that's going to be the future. We said, fuck you for the most part. A lot of people do download games, but uh, still a lot of people that don't. And like their physical copy. So, for example, for me personally, I, only down I do download games under two conditions. One, the PSN give me them for free, or Xbox, when I've got the, well, not even for free, but the, the PlayStation Plus or the Xbox Live. That's one aspect I download games. And two, is if they're on a sale and they're fucking cheap. That is the only way I download any games. If it's conveniently cheap for me to, to do a playthrough of that particular specific game that I want to play or oh it's on sale cool I want to play that series or it's the next game in the series I want to uh, record that and promote the game or whatever you know or experience it that is the only way I personally um, download games so Xbox for example said all this shit and a lot of people transferred from Xbox to PlayStation this is a reality they lost the console war before it even kicked off I laughed at that it was ridiculous um, they even did something about how um, uh, you had you couldn't share your games anymore or some shit, and and people just rejected Xbox completely. Sony coming out with that that moment in the press conference years ago where he handed his friend the game, and it was fucking brilliant, just mocking the shit out of Xbox, laughing at them, um, because wow, I mean it was just ridiculous. So a lot of people rejected Xbox um, and stuff like that, and and switched to PlayStation. They lost it before even thinking. So now Xbox come out recently, for example, I'll give you another example. A recent example and said story games are dead story games are dead try telling that to the last of us try telling that to the last of us 2 coming out try telling that to the 3.5 million people i think it's 3.5 million people that bought god of war for a story based game only in and that that, uh, that that 3 million plus people bought that within three or four days of a game coming out your, your, your head's up your asses, it really is. So anything the Xbox says, fucking do count, is, is basically anything the Xbox says, gamers want the counter. Like, want the opposite. So they don't know where they're fucking at, at, at Xbox, they really don't. Um, so I don't know what this Call of Duty... Um, I don't know who made it, was it Treyarch? I don't know, whoever made this game, making a big fucking mistake by not including campaign. You're eliminating, the f uh, eliminating your potential customers that you would have had for me to now and go buy Battlefield and play the big maps, play with the vehicles. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've, I've always enjoyed them. Uh, the, I like the gameplay. Um, I didn't enjoy too much the uh, the, the last one, uh, personally. I just didn't. Uh, didn't stick to it. I found that the, the story mode was quite boring because they separated them. It weren't one long story. That was just my personal opinion on it. There were some good stories, but it just weren't one big story. It was, like, cut up into different stories, which was interesting um, you know, don't get me wrong, every game has its flaws, but at the same time, I still got, uh, I only paid £12 for that, I think at the time on sale, for example, but I still got the, a lot of multiplayer, uh, I got a lot of maps, uh, included in the game on the sale, I got, man, I got all the maps, actually, I got, um, as the campaign to record as well, so I got value for money, and that was £12 or whatever, I mean, I know that's in sale, when about a year or two later, I won't even deny, but I, you know, <clears throat> but essentially, uh, this game, the, the new uh, Battlefield coming out, I will definitely pick up. Um, I think the, I think there's a release tomorrow. They teased something. It's in World War Two. So Battlefield comes out. Uh, the trailer tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll talk about that as well. I'll add that on, or maybe I won't. It just depends. Um, but yeah, um, a big fucking mistake. I think next year. Call of Duty will have a story mode because their fans would demand it. I think they're making a huge mistake with this Battle Royal thing. I don't think that, um, you know, I mean, if you look at the numbers, I, I had a poll on my um, YouTube, if you go there now on my community tab, uh, I, I put a poll up saying, now that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 has, has confirmed it will have uh, not have a story mode, will you be still be buying it? 15 people voted. 27% uh, said yes, 53% said no, and 20% said undecided. When they see the full picture, I bet you that 20% undecided 
raises to about, well, I mean, drops to about, mm, I'd say about 10%, where basically they go, no, fuck it, I'm not buying it, because it ain't good. Or maybe that will split, and, and, and maybe that will rise a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be, oh, yes, now I'm going to buy it, because I think it's great. I bet you that it, it drops 10%, 5% go no, 5% may go yes, but, it's, but I, I, I really doubt that. But essentially, uh, the yes and no margin is 53% say no. So, I mean, it's only 15 people, but that tells you something. That tells you something about uh, the gamers in, just in general. Like, right now. You know what I mean? Of, of, of who voted, you know. I mean, of course, if they put their own poll up, that would be interesting. If they put up their own poll on their uh, Call of Duty Twitter page or whatever, that would be a, a fascinating poll to see. And I bet you, I mean, if you want the market and it's there for you to do it, put that poll up, Call of Duty, and let's see who votes what. And I bet you most of the people say no. It, won't, it, might, even, it might be 60%, it might be 55%, but I bet you it will be, fuck that, you ain't got a campaign. We're not happy about it. I bet you. But they won't. But then again, maybe they're thinking the margins are so small that it's worth doing this. I don't know the numbers. Well, at the end of like at the end of the Premier League season, the numbers don't lie. You are where you are, and the, and, and and that's what they're going. I mean, that's what they're going on for this uh, PUBG and this uh, Fortnite copy and paste bullshit. Um, don't know. Maybe they're seeing their numbers, but Call of Duty is different because it's because you're paying fifty pounds, and I don't want to have to loot boxes and all that shit in the game, which is going to ruin it and all the rest of it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, I might, uh, do you know what, I'm going to cut the camera now, and I'll, I'll check out the Battlefield trailer, and I'll have more to say on that, and, and, and is it looking better than Call of Duty? Who knows? So, uh, I'll see you there, guys, um, uh, on whenever I decide to release this, but uh, I'll wait till Wednesday to check out the Battlefield uh, trailer, and see what that uh, comes to pass, see if we get more details on that, I know it is being held in World War Two, I believe, they've moved on. Anyway, guys, I will see you in a bit. Hey, guys, I just finished watching the uh, Battlefield 5 trailer. Looks fantastic. Um, lots of uh, fast-paced action going on, drama, or whatever. And I hope to God that it's a one story where I can follow the story all the way through instead of having it broken up into separate stories, which really fucking bored me uh, in the previous game. And they started off slow with a boring two-hour tank mission and then decided to throw me in at more excitement with a sneaking mission, sniping. Uh, I love sniping, I love tank missions, but at the same time, to throw me in at the end of, of, of two boring things that had to happen in the game, you would break them up like into different sections apart, where it made it more interesting, where I had the boring parts right uh, one after the other, and it was like, come on. So, and some stories were hit and miss, so I'm hoping they come out with a more interesting story. However, the big controversial thing about this uh, game right now is women in the game. Yes, we had it in the last pre in a previous game as well, and I think there was a lot of hoo-ha about that. But um, in World War Two, again, they're trying to, uh, and, and gamers are sick of it, and we're smart, and we're not stupid. And I wasn't the only one to notice it. I had I see all the comment section and the live stream. People were bitching about it, like, come on, man, like, what is this? You got a woman in the game now. Women did play a prominent role in World War One, World War Two. They did. They did a lot of different things. Um, they took over factory work from the men who went to war. Uh, they helped build tanks. They did medical stuff. They did. Uh, they were nurses and stuff like that. They did. Um, oh, what's that other thing they did? They were even fighter pilots in the army. Um, and I'll, actually, I'll give you the list of what they were done primarily. Women uh, fly as fighter pilots, and um, they were medics and uh, intelligence officers. Um, now they're engineers on the front line. And, I, and I'm going to give you uh, a little bit of a, a more detailed analysis of that in my news Friday, because I don't want to go into it here. But primarily, they did not have hand-to-hand -hand combat roles, um, like how you see on D-Day. Um, you know, it just isn't accurate. Um, I don't know what this woman's role is, but to see her going into a house and, and shooting down the Germans, it, it just wasn't the way it was. So it's historically inaccurate. Some people will say it's just a game, so it can be anything can be done. And I get that concept of it. Uh, but if you're going for historical accuracy, it's not true. 
and and that's what's frustrating. You think, well, you've you've politicized you've politicized it again. You fucking made it for your bullshit narrative. You've history didn't suit your narrative, so you fucking changed it and said, you know what I mean? Come on, no, fuck out of it. And people can sense it. They see it in their movies. They see it and uh, they see it in their games, and they're starting to see it all over the place. And and it's it's fucking annoying. And I can't stand that shit. And we will call you out on it, you know, all day long. Uh, my own opinion of of what a woman can and can't do is one thing um but to then go and historically um you know change something because it didn't suit your narrative is fucking retarded in itself if you look at some i'll give you an example uh i've got greater examples by the way but i'll probably go into more details about that in the news friday uh talking about it uh that game specifically uh as well as uh a few other stories uh, for example right if you look at these movies throughout uh, in recent years uh the patriot I didn't see any women in that, like, fighting. Troy, didn't see any women in that, actually fighting. Uh, Saving Private Ryan, didn't see any women there. Uh, if you look at more recent uh, movies as well, Tears of the Sun, great war movies, by the way. No women in that. Black Hawk Down, no women in that. And, you know, if you look even further back through history, this is an older war film in um, Mel Gibson's uh, We Were Soldiers. No women in that. All these things here, all of these movies, um, are, are well, this one, this one, Tears of the Sun, I believe Tears of the Sun is. I don't know for sure. I think it is, actually. Uh, I know Saving Private Ryan was. Um, all, these th- all these movies, the majority of them, are, or I think all of them, more, more or less, are actual true stories. So, all the movies I showed you were true stories, yet there are no women in it. So, you know, the movies, uh, up until a certain point, have gotten it right, um, you know, and it's just historical fact. <clears throat> well, they didn't show the element of women, like I said, in as fighter pilots and stuff, I'm sure there are movies out there. <sighs> now, this doesn't mean that I believe that women can't fight or all that kind of crap. I'm not interested in, 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 in I mean, that's not my opinion. Um, but it's just historical inaccuracy that they've got a woman playing as a, what is believed a frontline role, and uh, people are just pissed off about it, and we're just sick and tired to death of it. I've got so many facts and figures here to tell you, but I, I, it'll be like a whole another section, or it'll be like me talking about Black Ops and then going straight on in at Battlefield, and it's, I just wanted that this video to be like a, a one video um, subject kind of thing because the subject was kind of big and I wanted to get it off my chest about Black Ops and everything else but um, as for from what I can see from Battlefield 5 I think it's going to have a campaign um, I think it definitely looks interesting um, and I'll probably end up getting it um, just for the story uh, I don't know if I'll stick to the multiplayer or whatever um, having said that I, I don't know I, I, we have to wait and see what this main this uh, character's main role in the game is, but it essentially it looks like she's got a full combat role, which again is only a cutscene or whatever. But it's inaccurate, and 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 people are getting are just pissed off with it. Yes, it's a game, but uh, it's just the uh, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I'll go into a lot more detail on my news Friday video where I'll be reading articles about why they're not allowed to do frontline duty um, up until a certain point. I think. Up until 2016, 17, 18, the United States started letting women on the front lines. They're already engineers and stuff like that. Like I said, I can go into a lot more detail on it, uh, but I will leave that for uh, my News Friday video to talk about that. Um, but anyway, uh, to wrap this video up, uh, what do you think of Black Ops uh, 4 and all their bullshit that they're doing with no campaign? Um, like I said, I spoke about the... Um, oh man, where is it? If I can find it now. I spoke about the... Oh, man. In the community section, the uh, the thing going on, the poll that I had running, um, it's like Thursday today, because like I said, I'm filming this Thursday, and now it's gone... Uh, I said that poll now, that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is confirmed. No story mode, we'll be buying it. 28% have said yes now. 50% said no, and 22 have said they're undecided. 22%. So... If you want to take part in that poll, please go down the community tab and, and click your opinion or, or you know what I mean. Or if you'll be buying it or not, join in uh, that poll and we get a better perspective. Only 18 people voted, but hey, it, it, whatever, you know, if you're engaging in, in the channel or you're engaging in that community tab. Um, you know, I'll, try, I'll have another tab up actually about Battlefield. That will be interesting uh, to see what people think of that. Um, 
yeah, that'd be a whole other uh, video though, or I'll talk about that in the news Friday, uh, because there is a lot of to say there specifically. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and my uh, opinion on Black Ops, and then you've got a taste on what I'm feeling of uh, Battlefield 5. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links are in the description below. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.